All right, here's an Xbox One controller running the Langmuir uh, Crossfire XR plasma table. Um, it comes with a little controller, but it's really small, and you still got to remember some shortcut uh, commands to run the fire control uh, application. But you can set this up to run on an Xbox controller, and it will run those commands for you, and you don't have to remember them. And then if you have big clunky hands, it's great. Thank you. All right, I'm going to show you how to install the Xbox 360, I mean, uh, Xbox One controller. And you can do a 360 controller. Uh, you just have to buy a separate uh, adapter. Uh, I'll put it in the description uh, to Amazon to, to buy it. Uh, it's like $35, I think. But uh, anyways, uh, open up Google, do a search for Anti-Micro. This is the app that's gonna run your uh, Xbox One controller. Click on that, go to SourceForge, or you can get it from GitHub. Uh, I just like SourceForge and uh, just, just so you know, this app is no longer uh, being um, updated by the developer. So this is the final version of it. So click on 2.24, it's the Windows 64-bit MSI. This will install on your um, Crossfire PC that was sent to you. I'm using my Alienware computer for uh, recording purposes. Uh, so click on this and you should get a download link once that is done downloading if it doesn't show up for some reason like it did right here go to your folder tab click on downloads on the left side and run this app that was installed uh, to install on your computer um, once you click uh, just hit next all the way through and you should get a little icon but before you do anything with this uh, connect your Xbox controller um, you do that by pressing the little button at the very top of the controller and you press and hold it and the Xbox Lite's going to flash really fast. Um, once it does that, you should get a pop-up saying to connect, press connect. If it doesn't, go to the Bluetooth icon and add device and click on add device again and click on Bluetooth. Um, in my case, I've already paired it up so I can't really show you the whole thing um, for 360s you have to click on this one and follow the prompts but um, click on that um, and once that is uh, paired up with your uh, computer right click on anti uh, macro run as administrator and you have to run this every time you fire up uh, fire control it has to run in the background if not it won't work so click on that, um, if it doesn't pop up, go right here, and it's going to show you this. So this means it's paired up with the Xbox controller. If it doesn't show up, that means your controller is not um, connected. So just go through the prompts again. Um, so we're going to bring up the uh, shortcut list, and I'll include that in the description as well. It's going to have these uh, commands right here. So trying to remember Alt plus R to start the program is really hard. Um, that's the benefit of having this controller, especially if you have big fingers. That little controller that was sent to you, it's really hard to, to press those buttons and then remember all these shortcut um, co uh, commands. So with the Xbox controller, you can set up the buttons on the controller to do these commands for you and you can set up your controller the way you want it so for start I did the actual start button on the controller and it's the one that has three lines or looks like a hamburger so you click on that and go to advanced since we have two buttons so alt um, plus R you click on the little square hit alt on your keyboard and then click on the next square and hit press R and it's gonna press Alt and R for you whenever you actually press the physical start button or whatever key you bind it to and then press close so now whenever I press start it brings up the start button on fire control um, and just go through the setup uh, for the gantry. I have it on the D-pad, and that's the little short ones. So for the up, it's the up arrow, so you just press the up on your keyboard, 
down, left, right, and you just set these up, up, down, left, right. Um, and then to bring the um, torch up and down, I use the left uh, joystick. So I do the up, and that's page up, and then page down for the down. So be sure you save those. And then the other keys, like uh, to uh, pause it, I have the B key to pause um, the program whenever it's running, if I run into something. So that's the emergency stop. That's the other benefit. You can carry that, and it just saves it for you. Um, you can still do that with a regular little uh, controller, but like I said, if you have big fingers, it, it's crazy. So once that is done, uh, go to save as and save it to what save it as whatever you want. So you just click save as and call it whatever you want. Um, just make sure it's loaded right here in this drop down and this has to run in the background all the time so um, just minimize this fire up fire control and you should be able to move your gantry left and right like I did in that um, video that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial um, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me and comment below um, or get on the Facebook uh, group for the Crossfire XR or any of the other Langmar stuff. I'm, I'm in all those groups. But feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or if you want a tutorial on something else, let me know. Like and subscribe my channel. It helps me out. I'm trying to just have some fun with everything. Um, but like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.